This follows an agent application lodged before court by the Rally for Democracy and Progress President Jeremy Anambinga, who requested a stop to the planned National Executive and Central Committee meetings, meeting he says he, as the president of the party, did not approve. The application also aimed to nullify the vote of no confidence motion, which was passed against Nambinga by some party members at a national executive meeting held in August. According to Nambinga, the topic was not part of the agenda that day, and it was unlawful to even have considered it. Agenda points for the Central Committee meeting, including discussion that motion of no confidence passed against Nambinga. Judge Shafimana Witele said, by law, when an agenda is adopted, no further topic can be discussed at that meeting, making the vote of no confidence at the August meeting unlawful. We tell a rule that the meetings be put aside until further notice, as the meetings were supposed to be chaired by Nambinga, who had not approved any of the topics on the agenda. Appearing for the respondents, legal practitioner Albert Strado pleaded that the meetings proceed without the proposed motion on the agenda, as by the party's constitution, the Central Committee needs to meet twice. It has already met once this year. Appearing for the applicant in the matter, Advocate Gerson Narib said there was no way the meetings could take place with Nambinga SJ despite him knowing nothing about the agenda. Advocate Narib charged that Nambinga has received unfair treatment from some party members of late, depriving him his powers as the party's president. Judge Witele noted that the vote of no confidence is not the issue, but he was rather interested in the manner this was done as there are procedures to be followed. After the court adjourned for about an hour, the judge issued an interim order in his ruling, putting a stop to the planned meetings with a request for the matter to be heard before court on December 8th for further arguments. The ruling means come the 8th of December, both parties will have to come before court and argue on the merits of the matter. Upon completion of that, the judge will then decide as to whether to confirm or discharge the interim order. That will then determine the future of the Central Committee meeting of the party. Reporting for NBC News, Salomatenga, Tenduk.